Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear and save messages in the output panel, which is the panel right here. For this video, we are going to create an add-on using Python API. The first step is to open a text editor. I will be using Notepad++. If you are using Notepad++, make sure you set the language to be Python. Go to your settings menu, click preferences, select language, Python, and then select this option called Replace by Space. I'll close this out, and let's now create the command file for our add-on. I'll write from VC command, import everything, I'll get the command object, so I'll write cmd equals get command. We do need the application object to clear and get messages in the output panel. I will write app equals get application. Let's now create two properties in our command for clearing and saving messages. I'll write button clear equals the command object and use a method called create property. We want to create a property that is a type of button, so its type will be vc underscore button. And its label, let's call it clear messages. Now when we click this button, we want to clear the output panel. So I'll use the button clear object with the on changed event. This allows you to call a function when the button is clicked. So let's call a function called clear messages. And let's define that now. So define clear messages. It takes one argument, the property that was clicked or changed. And it's very simple. We're going to use the application object with a method called clear messages. And this method is in VC application. Let's now create another button for saving the messages. So I'll write button save equals the command object with the create property method it will be a VC button its label will be save messages and when we click the button we need to call a function so button save on changed equals save messages so we need to create a function called save messages that is called when we click the button let's do that now define save messages does take the first argument, the property that was changed. From here we now need to get the messages in the output panel. I'll say message equals, I'll use the application object with the method called get messages. So this will get everything in the output panel and return it as a string. Let's now define the URI or path for our file to save the messages to. I'll write URI equals, I will create a literal string, and I'm going to save the messages in the public documents for my Visual Components product. So I will go to this path here, copy it, and then paste it here. I'll now name my document output.txt for a text file, and now I'll use the with keyword in Python to open a file as a file object. So the file we want to open or create is at this URI that we defined here. And we want to append information to the file, so I'll pass the append argument. And then after we have the file open, let's use the file object to write our messages to it. So the file object with the write method, and we're passing our message variable. Now the good thing about using the with keyword is that after it opens the file, it will write the message and then automatically close it for us. Let's now define the first state for our command. So I will use define another function. Get my spacing right. So define first state. And what do we want to do? Let's execute our command in an action panel or task pane because we have these two buttons for our command and we can list them in that action panel so we can click them to do either the clear or save action. So we're going to use a built-in method for Python API called execute in action panel. And this is a standard command being imported from VC command. Let's now assign this function as a state of our command. I'll write cmd, or actually we can just write add state. And we're going to add it our function. And that's it. Let's now save this file in our my commands document. And you want to 
go right here. So this is in your visual components documents in your my documents. I'll call the name of the file messages or just message helper and make sure it's a Python file. We now need to create the initialization file for our command. I'll create a new tab. I'll write from VC application import all. Let me change the language to Python. And then when the application is started, we use the on start event. Let's define the URI to our command file. So cmd URI equals I'll use a method called get application path to simplify the URI. And we're going to look for a file name called message helper.py. And this is the name of the file that we're creating here in this tab. From there, we're going to load the command. So cmd equals load command. The first argument is the ID you want to give the command so you can reference it elsewhere in a script or when you're localizing it. I'll keep the ID simple and just call it message helper. And then the second argument is the URI to that command. So we'll pass our cmd URI variable. After we have that, let's add the command to the user interface. I'll use the add menu item method that's being imported from VC application. Let's add the command to the ribbon in the home tab. I'll use a string for the site path. It will be VC tab home forward slash and let's put it in a new group called test. From here, the reference ID will be message helper or the command ID, and we'll give it a negative one position in the ribbon group, and then we'll just give its label to be the same message helper. And that's it. Let's now save this file in the my commands folder. And the file name is important, it has to be two underscores I N I T, followed by two underscores. Make sure it is a Python file and now you can run or restart your Visual Components product to test this. Okay, the application has started and the first thing you want to do is check the output panel for any error messages with your Python add-on. I don't have any. I'll now try to find the command in the user interface. So I am in the home tab. Here's my test group and there's my command. I'm actually going to right click the command and add it to my quick access toolbar and to test I'm going to go to the modeling tab. Now if you don't have access to the modeling tab you can add a component or layout that at least prints some feedback in the output panel. So I'll keep it simple and go to my modeling tab and create a new component with one box or block feature and I'm going to add a Python script behavior and then use the print function to add the messages to the output panel. Let's make the script editor a bit smaller and move it over here. I'll then use the print function to print hello world in the output panel. Compile the code. There's our message. And now let's execute our command. I'll go to my quick access toolbar, click my message helper, and notice it executed in a task pane or action panel here. And these are the commands properties, those two buttons we added. So clear messages and save messages. Let's click our clear messages button and you can see the output panel is now clear. There's no more messages there. Let's now test again. So I'll add some lines here, compile the script, and now we have hello world in the output panel. Let's now click our save messages button. We did not get any errors, so let's now check the file to see if the messages were added to it. I'll go to my public documents. There's my output text file. Great. I'll open it. And yes, there's our message. Let's now test again, minimize that, and let's write a for loop during the simulation. So I'll say define on run for i in range 5, print i. Compile the code, and let's actually clear our output panel. Run the simulation, and reset, and now we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the output panel. Let's now add this to our output text file. I'll click the Save Messages button here, go back to my file, and yep, notice it was added to the end of the file. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I will add the Python add-on files to the forum so you can see them and edit them if you need to.
But as always, have a wonderful day. Thank you.